and we are back. May the business end of the Champions League begin. Knockout stage football, the last 16. Over the course of the next two legs, 16 teams will be divided by two. In the meantime, the Champions League top goal scoring chart has seen sizable contributions from the likes of Kloiser, Van Nistelrooy, Jaladino, Rendegor of Heslink, Mackay and Adriana. It has been over 10 years since Porto and AC Milan last faced each other in the Champions League. Over the course of the last three years, Porto and Milan would play in back-to-back -back Champions League finals, with the former being the victor. Football's living legend Ronaldo debuts in the Champions League for AC Milan. Helder Postiga returns it to the Slovakian Marek Cech and Lisandro Lopez loops it over the head of Dida who recovers. Marek Cech has fitted it through to Lisandro Lopez. Tries his hardest to cut it into the far post. Lucho Gonzalez resists the urge to go down, stays on his feet and he nearly prospers from it as he kisses the post of Dida's goal. Seedorf Wells went in to Inzaghi, it's directly at Halton, pushed aside. Here's Clown Seedorf to the feet of Filippo, and again, it's right on the button of Halton, who gets it out of the way of Milan's thirsty throats. Resma found a bit of fortune with the free pass on Lucho. He's further away from closer range than earlier in the game. Pirlo, perfect footwork, hits the post, and now Ronaldo just about reaches the rebound. Ronaldo has scored on his AC Milan Champions League debut. And not only is it the important goal, it's the significant goal, the away goal, the goal that counts as double. Ronaldo has gifted his new teammates a tremendous benefit as they head back to the San Siro. In two years' time, Roma will host the 2009 Champions League final. Until then, this showdown with Bayern Munich may serve as a dress rehearsal for the Romans, who face their first true marquee match against the brilliant Bavarians who have been in fantastic form in the group stage. Schweinsteiger punts one into the box. This is cleared away by Tinetti. Schweinsteiger returns! to finish what he started with a thunderous volley against Roma, Bayern's first attempt on goal. And it's one that can't be topped by Bastian Schweinsteiger. That is a goal of glory. A hellacious hit, a volley, a volley of vaginal nectar. That is a goal of the season contender. Here is Claudio Pizzaro, turns and sends in the cross towards Mackay at the far post. Has his eyes on goal number four. Perotta, Totti takes it into touch. It's gone beyond the wafer paper thin hands of Oliver Kahn. Totti has brought Roma back into it. The eighth king of Rome leads his people and followers into a chorus of hope at home. Here's De Rossi back to Totti again. Totti gets a bit of fortune with the lack of clarity from the defender. Khan stands his ground a little bit better this time. Five minutes to go until half time. Now Perotta. Oh my god, that is close. Van Balten links up with Lam. On the edge of the area. Beautiful glancing header from Claudio Pizzaro. Bayern Munich have stolen the lead again. And this time is just before half time. The Peruvian. Claudio Pizarro. A lot like the goal Lionel Messi would score in this stadium in two years' time. Kroat has taken it from Van Bouten and couldn't keep the shot low. Schweinsteiger, that's into Mackay, cuts inside and pulls it wide. Tardine, that's Messi in the middle. Oh, it's dipped off the post by De Rossi. Beautiful agony of De Rossi's miss. Here's Francesco Totti, still going, cuts inside. How did he miss from there? 
Salih Hamidic, one last hurrah for Bayern Munich, but Dolce's glanced it, it's fell into the lap of Roy Mackay, who seals a two-goal cushion with a four-goal accolade in the scoring charts. Wasn't a clean clearance from Philip Mexes. Fell into the palms of Roy Mackay. We are back in the venue of the beginnings of this Champions League tournament. The champions, Barcelona, host the Dark Horses, Shatka, Donetsk. And as if you need any reason not to underestimate Donetsk, they have won more games in this Champions League than the champions themselves. The long pass immediately cut short by Elana. Marika is dragging Poyot out to sea and it leaves Fernandinho completely unmarked in the penalty area seemingly had the entire box to himself Fernandinho has just shot Barcelona a seismic goal by one of the smallest players on the pitch perfect header perfect start for Shatka Ronaldinho goes for goal but this isn't the World Cup of 2002 Here's Alano, sets himself up and he doesn't have the power we come to expect from that kind of range. Ronaldinho, pushed away by Schust. Ronaldinho leading with the laces of his boots. Daylight is running out in the first half at the new Camp. Here is Samueletto blazing down the flank as a makeshift winger. Well the cross lands on the dome of Deco. Barcelona equalise against the underdog Shatka Donetsk. We are level, we leave the field at half-time with a game on our hands. Messi allows Zambrotto to overlap, brought down by Eto into the temptatious path of Iniesta. Out wide to Zambrotto, back to Iniesta, Messi, Eto has an opening, is shoved aside by Schust. Milano to take Shatka Donetsk's corner and Brandao tried to react to the ricochet here is Messi Decker Ronaldinho lays it off first time to Xavi it's the perfect pass and an excellent drill through the will of Shatka's hearts a driven strike from Xavi has put Barcelona in front of Ukraine's dark horses for the first time. Randall shifts inside, Puyol, and it's wide. The young Lionel Messi can run for hours and hours. Here is Xavi. Decker meets up with Ronaldinho on the outside and just saves. Last roll of the dice now, surely for Barcelona to get that third. Lionel Messi! Just comes out of the shadows quicker than a clicker from The Last of Us. Liverpool and Real Madrid meet in the Champions League for the first time since Paris was painted red in 1981. Speaking of Paris, Liverpool will be hoping. Last season's tournament was a gap year. Meanwhile, the Galacticos are trying to justify their expenditure with a 10th. Champions League trophy. Here is David Beckham rolling back the years, inviting himself from an inappropriate angle. Pepe Reina on his tippy toes. Rubinho passes the torch to his countryman Emerson, who jinks his way into that penalty area. Reina's radar picks up another ballistic missile incoming. Here's Jermaine Pennant and he sends Roberto Carlos to the school of Anfield. Mascherano makes the attempt against his future rivals. Xavi Alonso's cross against his future club. It's neutered by Peter Crouch. Crouch. Pennant lays off an inviting one for Mascherano. Too much curl. Such a thing. Gerard has skipped away from Cannavale. Opens up for Peter Crouch. If for some reason doesn't use his height. Less than 30 minutes to go. And what's been a rather lukewarm European night at Anfield well Peter Crouch has capitalised on this loss of possession by Emerson and it's somehow gone in 
and he really should be thanking Luis Garcia for his dogmatic persistence. He's the one who just robbed Emerson of the ball. It's a typical scouts mugging. Iker Casillas barely has time to react. All he can do is watch the ball ping pong off the goal post like a pinball machine. Here's Risa out of nowhere. Makeshift striker using the wrong foot. Gerard survives the cut inside. His pennant switching the flanks. It's still Jermaine Pennant. And the man in the red shirt experiences a rush of blood to the head. More than ever, they need a good ball from David Beckham. It was, but it's Higuain who wasn't grateful. And it's Real Madrid who were underwhelmed at Anfield. It is a British derby in the Champions League. Glasgow versus London. Celtic versus Arsenal. This is the first time Celtic have reached the knockout stages of any European football for the first time since their quarter-final exit to Villarreal in the UEFA Cup three years ago. Well, it's driven to Vinegar immediately. Would have been the fastest goal in the Champions League. Ross has swung in and brushed away. It's fell to Lennon. Finds the feet of Vinegar, hits it on the turn. Once again, another wasted opportunity to take the lead. Where is Hleb? Hleb belts one in. That's deflected away by the defender and the ball just come into the deep end. Brzezinski is the one who stays afloat and gives Arsenal a life jacket to put on. They take the lead and the valuable away goal against Celtic. So what a pathetic punch. Gravison. Doesn't want to know more, gives it to Nakamura. Well, he gets it back anyway, but Thomas Gravison may have benefited from the return. Throw the fruit to Van Persie. That's a lovely drop on the shoulder. Brzezinski. Now Thierry Henry. A casual outside the boot flick onto Boric. Henry takes the free kick. It's a failure. Nakamura to Kenny Miller. Miller. Oh, it's a strike out of nowhere. Clearly didn't catch it cleanly with the left foot, but he's done enough to trouble Lehman. Nakamura swings in the corner, and there is a goal from guess who? No surprises for Celtic fans as Jan Benegor of Heslick finds goal number five, which puts him just behind Roy Mackay, his countryman of the Netherlands. Celtic are turning Celtic Park into a fortress. Nobody who comes here is safe. Fabregas, good pass to Thierry Henry. Should have the pace to get away from Dumier, but he can't. The pressure was on, and Boric makes a meal of the save. Celtic equalised, but Arsenal have the trump card in the away goal. The venue for the Champions League final is going to see Ek Athens' biggest test yet against the Red Devils, Manchester United, the champions of 99. And in some ways, a game of this magnitude is almost like a mini final for the Greeks. Manchester United getting used to life on the road, but here is Henrik Larsson, who has joined on loan in January from Helsingborg. Well, here is Henrik Larsson. Larsson! What an amazing instant impact from the legendary Larsson. 10 minutes have gone by here in Athens. And he has twisted the yellows inside and out with this little piece of dribbling magic. Larson out wide to Cristiano Ronaldo. Slams on the brakes, makes the cross in. It's Larson again! He is a living nightmare for Athens. The goalkeeper should have done better, gets a hand to it, but it's the powerful headbutt of Henrik Larson. Two goals to his name, and Larson has a lot of catching up to do to reach Roy Mackay at the top of the table. Here is Larson again, it's received by Giggs, banged in on the left foot, and guess what that makes? We call that a perfect hat trick. Right foot, left foot, and the head. Henrik Larson merely showing off now, demonstrating his instant value to Manchester United. Three goals up in less than 30 minutes. Carrick. Has it pushed aside by Sorrentinos? Giggs with a quick turn, sends in the cross, it's missed by everyone, and Ronaldo still can't get his first Champions League goal. Here is Hilo Cesar marching on defiantly through that blue brick wall. Saved by Van der Sar. Rooney, Skolks, 
Opens fire. Sarantinos was rooted. Goal. Eric Hafins pulls something back for now. Liverpoolus. The captain of Ekafins leading by example. The corner held in by the Brazilian Emerson. Cyril A challenging Larson to a race. Crucial block by Henze. Larson's corner again and once again. The Greeks have the textbook delivery from the corner. That's allowed them to claim he never go. And there goes the gap on Manchester United's lead. It's Capitanos. We still have half an hour to go but that's long enough. To complete a comeback, surely. Liverpoolus launched long. Hence, he's missed it completely. Luckily, recovers through Patrice Evra, who's made the error. Oh, Nelson has thumped a thunderbolt past Van der Sar, and the unbelievable has happened. Eck Athens have come back from three goals down against Manchester United to level the score and aggregate. Neville finds Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo still deprived of his first goal. Trying to leave Apollos. Still time, yet this game is completely flipped on its head. And speaking of heads, that one nearly beats Van der Sar in a humiliating fashion. It is at Athens 3, Manchester United 3. The interesting stat is that the visitors of Bordeaux have won more games than Inter Milan, despite scoring less goals. Inter Milan, arguably the underachievers of European football, have their head start against the upstarts of French's Ligue 1. It is Bordeaux against the favourites Inter Milan at the Giuseppe Metti. Ibrahimovic couldn't glance it enough. There's Latan Ibrahimovic. He picks out Adriano. Let's it run through. Ron read it like a billboard on the motorway. Corner to Adriano. A header. Heavier than heaven, even Ram couldn't keep it out despite getting gloves to it. That puts the Brazilian Emperor on four goals. And the header knocks down to Mikud, who couldn't keep it down. Long ball searching for the Argentinian Kamenagi because Cordoba failed to intercept. There's Luis Figo. Just gently running past the fullback, Adriano. An ambitious header from a long way out, still troubling the keeper. Zlatan Ibrahimovic running through the fields for fun. Let's Maikon have a turn. Maikon sends the ball into Adriano, and again it startles wrong. Cambiasso, Adriano. Ibrahimovic turns and gets through. Good save by Ram. How on earth this is only 1-0? It's thanks to that goalkeeper. And Adriano misses. The cross is swung in. Here is Dejan Stankovic. Stankovic sends in the return and this time they can't match the will and the might of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Goal number three for the Swedish legend in the making. Zlatan Ibrahimovic unmarked at the far post. 20 minutes left to play here and seems like his job done for Inter Milan. Have a second leg to look forward to for Bordeaux. However, they've just pulled the goal back. It's Wendel. And clearly the Italians fell asleep. Watched the ball. And the sudden noise from the away section is what woke them up. It's a goal. It's a game on. Ibrahimovic out wide to Vieira. Hits it first time through to Luis Figo. Cambiasso has lost it to Mavuba. Mavuba. Inter are living dangerously now. Inter survived the second wave of Bordeaux. A long trip to France awaits. Speaking of France, we land in the Stade Jalon in Lyon for the final game of the first leg of the last 16. Olympic Lyon will host Chelsea. It is domestic champion versus champion. Lyon, the champions of League One. Chelsea, the holders of the Premier League. Essien down the wing against his former club. Balak sends for Little Coupe retreating. Eugenia. Benzema takes it in first time, has no choice. Man pass free kick. It's a good catch from Gregory Coupe. Janinho meets up with Benzema in the middle, and here is that unpredictable footwork of the young French Coco. Benzema fails at the last hurdle. The excitement's got to his head. Sydney Govic. 
Ball in from Govu. Benzema does it. The young superstar with a glancing header across the face of goal. It comes to a final rest in the net of Czech. Essien. Lampard and now Balak opens fire. Oh, that'll sting a little. Good save from Coupe. Lampard to the overlapping Ashley Cole. Drogba jumps seven feet across the Leon box to land that header that bounces off the ground and in to the roof of Coupe's net. Game on now in Leon, and Chelsea have the away goal. Sidney Govu again laboriously carrying that ball. And Czech tips it over just as Coupe did earlier in the game. Balak. Joe Cole. This is the feet of Drogba. It's back to Lampard. Miscalculated the pass. Well, Balak nearly passes it in. There's a slight hesitation from the German as he changes the trajectory. And it finishes one goal apiece in Lyon. It's going to be very interesting on that return to the Blue Bridge in London. A few cagey affairs in the first leg of the Champions League. Well, that's to be expected. What we can expect, however, is some exciting all or nothing performances in the second legs. Unsurprisingly, Vinegar dominates as the top goal scorer with P6 icon Adriano in close pursuit and even a late catch up from Henrik Larsson. As always, a special thank you to everybody who has watched and is joining us on our retro pest journey in our road to Athens. What are some of your predictions for the second leg? And which game are you looking forward to the most? And what was your favourite goal of the first leg? And why <laughs> was it Bastion Schweinsteigers? I'll see you in the midweek for more Champions League.